Imagine a day when you've received five compliments on your work, but also one piece of criticism. Despite the positive remarks, you find yourself fixating on the one negative comment. This is not an anomaly. It's a universal human tendency known as the negativity bias. Negativity bias is the psychological phenomenon where we, as humans, tend to give more weight to negative experiences than positive or neutral ones. It's the reason why a single criticism can overshadow multiple compliments or why a small misstep can seem to ruin an otherwise perfect day. Take, for instance, the world of online reviews. A restaurant may have hundreds of five-star reviews, but it's the few one-star reviews that capture our attention. We immediately start questioning the quality of the restaurant, even when the majority of the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. This is negativity bias in action, or consider the news. Negative news stories tend to stick with us longer and shape our worldview more than positive ones. We might read about a dozen acts of kindness and generosity, but it's the one story about crime or disaster that stays with us, influencing how we perceive the world around us. Negativity bias can subtly infiltrate our lives, affecting our decisions, our relationships, and our overall well-being. It can make us overly critical of ourselves, make us hold on to grudges, or prevent us from appreciating the good things in life. But the good news is, once we're aware of this bias, we have the power to counteract it. We can train ourselves to focus more on the positive experiences in our life. We can practice gratitude, consciously acknowledging the good things that happen to us each day. We can challenge our tendency to dwell on the negative and instead make an effort to celebrate our wins, no matter how small they may be. It's not about ignoring the negative. It's about not letting it overshadow the positive. It's about striving for a balanced perspective where we weigh the good and the bad fairly. It's about recognizing that a single negative experience does not define us or our worth. Remember, the world is not as negative as our bias might lead us to believe. So let's make an effort to counteract the negativity bias, not just for a more positive outlook, but for a more accurate and balanced view of our lives and the world around us. Because in the grand scheme of things, the positive often outweighs the negative. It's just a matter of shifting our focus.